Hey everyone, Jamie Scherer from the Fusion Adoption Team here with a few quick tips on how you can use joints to help create high quality renderings and animations in Fusion 360. Hopefully it isn't news to you that you can turn any rendering in Fusion 360 into a turntable animation simply by resubmitting the rendering to the cloud. This will take the camera settings and materials you've already applied and render out a turntable at 6 or 36 frames. Also, you can re-render your visualization as a motion study where you can use Fusion's photorealistic rendering engine to bring the motion of your assembly to life. But recently, I was working with James Passmore, one of our power users who was using motion studies to have more control over his turntable while making the animation more complex and adding assembly motion. Here's the trick. If you wanted to create a turntable that only rotated partially around your object, you can simply create a joint between your object and an object in space used to create a turntable. Now you can create a motion study where you can control the amount of rotation for a partial turntable. Expanding further, you can create a motion study that has multiple joints and explore a combination of turntable rotation with assembly motion. It's a pretty awesome technique. But wait, there's more. Chad Lockhart, one of our technical specialists, enlightened me on a simple joint technique used to create a lighting rig in Fusion 360. Back in the model workspace, I'll use a spherical component as my light rig and apply a light emitting material to the cylinder which will be my light source. Now, if I want to be able to move the light around my scene easily and ensure that it's always pointing towards my product in my rendering, I'll create a ball joint between the cylinder and the sphere and change the sphere appearance to air to make sure it is completely removed from my scene. Now you can see how easy it is for me to move my light source around and use the in-canvas render to preview the results. These two simple techniques bring the power of joints in Fusion 360 into the rendering workspace, allowing you to showcase your designs in the best light. I'm just the messenger on this one. Be sure to post your improved renderings and animations to the Fusion 360 gallery.